If you look around, it's gorgeous here. This area, the Elk Valley, Fernie, it's like living in a vacation mecca. We've got lots of mountain streams. Everyone's very passionate about fishing. So keeping our waters clean and clear for everyone to enjoy is pretty important. All right. Okay. I never get tired of seeing those mountains. I never get tired of it at all. <laughs> Just so spectacular. It's beautiful, eh? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Better. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> There are lots of grizzlies in the area, so you want to make noise. You do not want to surprise a grizzly bear. There's been mining in the valleys for years. Waste rock contains natural minerals. Selenium's one of them. Natural runoff through the waste rock generates higher selenium concentrations in the rivers. In lower quantities, selenium is beneficial, but in higher quantities, it can be harmful to the environment and aquatic life. We're working to reduce selenium across the Elk Valley, and the trends are looking good. We're seeing reduced levels of selenium downstream of our water treatment facilities, which it's really important to me as it'll allow us and our children and even their children to continue enjoying this beautiful area. If I was to describe my job to my kids is that I use bugs to clean water. Come on, guys, let's go. <laughs> I've got a husband, Jeff, and uh, we've got two kids. Just on the road? Seth is 15, and Brooke is 14. I'm up one, I found one. <laughs> Some poor fellow lost it. They're both very, very active, so hockey, skiing, soccer, volleyball. There's a pretty big women's hockey presence in the Elk Valley. Fernie has two teams. I play on the Hustlers. Brooke will come out occasionally and play with us as well when she doesn't have her own hockey. Give her a push. I know. It'll, It'll fit. fit. It'll fit. No, but... <laughs> well, we got a lot of centers here. She's way better than I am, but it's pretty fun playing with her. She's much more of a goal scorer than I am, though, for sure. Good job, bro. I'm not used to shooting at all angles like you are. I can't shoot to begin with. So. Life is very busy, but you need to prioritize what's important. I think having supervisors that are understanding and they know you work hard and they also know that there's life events that you need to support. So, I think we have a really great balance here um, with the team that we have. My dad was in the steel business his entire life. Honestly, following my dad's footsteps was not something that I've ever really considered. I always enjoyed the environment outdoors. That's what got me into the environmental field. Math and science are my strong suits. So I graduated with a degree in environmental engineering. After my MBA, I worked in oil and gas at a refinery for about 15 years. EVR had some locations that fit the lifestyle I was looking for, and uh, I've been here just over five years. We're headed to Westland Creek Active Water Treatment Facility today. It's our original plant. It's affectionately called Selena by most. Selena comes from selenium. EVR has four active steel-making coal mines in the valley. As a senior supervising engineer in water operations, my job is changing daily. I get bored easily. I like the fast pace. I like the challenges. Hey, Eric. How's it going? This is Eric. He's like... He's my senior lead. He's my right-hand man that I just, like, stole. Everyone keeps telling me, you got Eric? Oh, my God. So. We currently have four uh, water treatment facilities. 
uh, within uh, the Elk Valley. And we can treat up to 77.5 million liters per day between the four facilities. Okay, so this is our biological plant. It removes selenium and nitrate from the creek water. So it achieves over 95% selenium removal and pretty much all nitrates removed. Yeah. The sole focus of my job is ensuring that we're mining responsibly and so treat that water uh, and return it back to the environment with levels that, that meet our objectives and are non-harmful to the environment. And I'm very proud of some of the number of issues we've overcome. We're learning every day. That's the thing that I like about water operations. If we have a problem, there is no textbook. You can't find the answer in a book. We're the ones leading the way. Saturated Rockville is an EVR in-house patented technology. The Elkview Saturated Rockville treats up to 20 million liters of water per day. Saturated rock fill is fairly similar to our biological plants, but actually using a backfilled pit filled with waste rock. And the microorganisms actually bind to the rock surfaces. The water is treated by the microorganisms, reduces the nitrate and selenium. So underneath us is a huge bioreactor. You can see pretty good up here, right? Eh? Yeah. Last year, we only ran the one pump, which okay. gave us about seven, 8,000. Junior's planning on, he had two and one froze on him, so it would be good if he winterized two, and then he just pulls the third one so that we're ready for the cold weather, which will be starting... Tomorrow? Yeah, pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. Pretty soon. We're in the process of expanding, constructing five new facilities. The new projects are just another new challenge on addition to the existing plants. There, so they maybe put more cable pipe racks in. How's she going, boys? We're at the site of the new Dry Creek water treatment plant. Back in the background, you can see this is a Dry Creek spoil from the Line Creek mine. Within the next three years, we'll actually have six facilities running. Yes. Right there. Yeah, those are the swarms right there. Yeah. Okay, cool. We've come a long way. Just even the five years that I've been here, it's uh, pretty impressive what we've been able to do. So you can see all four sites working together. I thought these were cool slides. Like it actually shows how much impact we're having. So <laughs> we're gonna continue to see water treatment making a difference in the valley as we get these important facilities online. We have a team that works really well together that has lots of great ideas and everyone keeps it fun. We go mountain biking together. Before <laughs> you go up to the space, like the space unicorn. The one where you just before you come out the open. That sounds good. Oh, you got it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, I guess, like-minded individuals that they feel good about what they're doing. We've got a lot of really young, energetic engineers, passionate about the environment, big outdoorsmen. They've always wanted to be in an environmental field. Mud spray. I think we're just all excited about what we've done and where we're going. I think the work we're doing is really important. With our current facilities, selenium and nitrate concentrations have stabilized and we're starting to see reduced concentrations downstream of treatment, and we expect further reductions as our new water treatment facilities come online, you like the snow? which is really exciting. Go with me. What's that? Honestly, since I've gotten here, I haven't looked back. I've really enjoyed the work I've been doing. Good boy. Come on. It's been a fun journey so far, and I'm excited that the next two, three years are gonna be extremely busy, but extremely fun as well.